Then there was this time at the store with this huge shoplifter, and he... Beautiful Bianca, now down Broadway, ready to make the fashionista swoon in a flowing crepe jumpsuit. This is nice. What'd you think of the Versace? Well, uh, it has a nice drape, and it seems like a kicky look for fall. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... yummy? Okay, you know what? This is stupid. We have to talk about this. Right. I mean, just because it's weird doesn't mean we can't handle it. We're brothers. Right. We've been through everything together. We shouldn't be pussyfooting around about it. I got you something. Hey, I got you something. Really? See, this is what I'm talking about. We're being open and supportive and honest with each other. Here. What's this? It's called, if you're gay, it's okay. It's full of great resources. What's this? Naughty Pool Boys 3. I watched 10 or 12 of these, and this one seems to have the most stuff you guys like. Wait. I'm not gay, you're gay. No, I'm not. You are. I'm not gay. Malcolm, check out what they're doing in that movie, and then tell me you're not gay. No, this is... She said... Stop laughing. I don't think I can! When you guys were dancing and you did that little... Oh my god, it was so sweet! There's nothing more I can ask for, honestly. You guys make me so happy! Oh god, it hurts. Well, I better go drag my dad off the lawn. He likes to fall asleep right next to the toilet. Be so vendetta! Yes, vendetta. Reese, I promise we'll get back at her. But we have to be careful. She's got mom totally on her side. Oh, yeah. It's tricky. Somehow we've got to figure out a way to turn mom against her. Okay, got it. What? It's a little risky. But I'll tell you one thing no one calls me gay and gets away with it. Excuse me of loving mom more than him just because it would slash your boyfriend's tires. I'm so sorry, honey. Parents shouldn't put their kids in the middle. Or hit on their friends. Boys, come get the groceries. Hope this means we can eat soon. Hold it. What's that? What? That. A turtleneck? What do you care? You don't wear turtlenecks. Can I just get the groceries so we can eat? I've got a ton of homework I need to... Aha! Mom, don't! Who gave you that? None of your business! What's your problem anyway? Can't you go five seconds without butting into my life? What? It wasn't her, Mom. I swear. You always think you know everything, but you're wrong. You're dead wrong this time. I think you and I need to have a little talk. But I do. Come on. I suppose you have a good explanation for this. Not really. Lois, I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you. I gave him the hickey to keep him from doing something really stupid. Excuse me? I'm not saying I was smart either, but there's this girl that Malcolm's been chasing, and she's really bad news. She's sexually active, and I'm pretty sure she's into drugs, and the only reason why he's interested in her is because he's so insecure about himself. We got into this fight, and I was saying that he could do so much better, and he, was, he said that nobody liked him anyway, and I was telling him that a lot of girls liked him because he's sweet and cute and funny, and then... He, he kind of grabbed me and he started kissing and I couldn't stop because then he would think I was making the whole thing up and I'm sorry. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty convincing lie for just, for just winging it. I mean, you went a little overboard with the crying, but the basic story was good. Drug girl was a nice touch. Creepy. A little sad. But how did you... Sweetie, I'm a mother. It's my business to know. You've got talent, but I turned pro 20 years ago. Which isn't to say you haven't been useful. I never would have been able to enjoy that play in peace if the boys weren't occupied. And the gay thing was very entertaining. But more important, those two idiots actually treated each other decently for a few days. Thank you for that. So, here's the deal. As of today, you are banned from this house. 
You violated my trust. I don't want you around my boys. Knowing that, they will automatically forgive you and sneak you back in. You will be here every day after school until 6, except Thursdays when I work until 9.30. You will have complete run of the house, but I want Reese to do his half hour of assigned reading and Malcolm to complete all, all his college applications, not just the Ivy Leagues, and no junk food. Understood? For how long? We'll see. Ice capades are coming in a few months. Sure would be nice to go as a family.